Hello, Leo. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. and this is the second half of October of 2021 Spiritual Guidance Reading. For your reading, I've been guided to the Lenormand deck by Chiro Marsetti and to lay a six-card spread. I like to use this deck first because it helps for me to kind of pinpoint uh, the overall energy surrounding whichever Leo I'm reading for during this general reading on into and through the second half of October of 2021. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide this Leo with clearly defined messages regarding the energy surrounding them in the second half of October. Okay, whoops, up here. So we have right away the magnifying glass. This is a very spiritual card. This is spirit telling this Leo to look a little bit closer at what? At what's keeping them trapped or stuck. Hmm. So Leo, it's a good time to write down. What is it that's been making me feel trapped or stuck? Cross that off and think about what it is you can research. Something you can learn to do, to practice, to play, uh, to get up and do each and every day. Because this process is going to give you this beautiful polar bear energy, which is a very loving, motherly, male or female, open-hearted energy. Okay? Um, some. Uh, this could also represent someone who's in a leadership position or you stepping into a leadership position. So I am feeling a lot financially here with these two cards. The four-leaf clover energy is a beautiful energy. This is Spirit's way of saying we are helping to guide you into the direction of a path that is blessed and meant to be. So in some cases, we do have financially a Leo who's feeling a bit stuck or trapped. Okay, that could be a person, place, circumstance, situation, or environment. And wants to open their heart to a path that is lucky and blessed. Something that feels right. By the end of October of 2021, this Leo is being blessed with this uh, beautiful magical golden compass. So Spirit saying, we are going to guide you and bring you the answers about which direction to go. And here they are. The lily energies represent wisdom and knowledge. So yeah, it looks like during the second half of October, we've got a Leo here who's saying, I'm feeling a bit stuck or trapped. Therefore, I want to research a new direction that feels right and open my heart to this new direction. I just need to obtain greater wisdom and knowledge. And so Spirit is going to bring you that. Now in a three card spread to my left for further clarification, we've got the mountain, a waiting feminine, and the death card. So we have Spirit saying, don't look uh, at the journey ahead as long and difficult. Uh, we have a feminine who may be trying to sweep away from something at a distance. Yeah. Opening their heart to someone, but they, we do have a feminine thinking about this fox energy. And fox energy is kind of sly, cunning, manipulative behavior in oneself or another. Spirit's trying to bring this Leo back into their element, which is to shine like the sun. You know, share your good-hearted, positive energy with the world. But it's being blocked with the cross energies of the burden card. Some Leos may be thinking about a passionate masculine who has Pisces in their chart with the fish sign here. Could be Cancer or Scorpio, but it's a passionate masculine, whereby maybe there was a commitment, partnership, or contract, or with this child card children or a family someone's focusing too much on the negative here and that's what's keeping them stuck or trapped with the cage energy in their thoughts position there is a desire during the second half of october of 2021 for this uh leo to connect with others a group of people family friends uh this is connecting with others via community society social media technology sharing information about the anchor energies Finding a position of stability and security, even if that's just emotionally and spiritually. So Spirit's saying, whatever you are hoping, wishing, and praying for, we are going to help you to make come manifest. So, But they're offering up the book, and they're saying, now's the time to kind of go through the previous chapters of your life, uh, sometimes even the most difficult circumstances, and to recognize that you rose above and conquered them. And that now it's time to create an exciting new chapter where you can shine like the sun. Just make sure that your motives or another 
um, are truthful. There's fear here that is causing this particular Leo to kind of travel somewhere. Hmm. Wanting to connect with soulmates. This could be family and friends looking to devote themselves to maybe a soulmate. This is someone also who I'm feeling a single person who is wanting to uh, create a new direction with someone. They can't let go of it, but they can't figure it out. So let's see. By the end of October of 2021, we have transformation. We have change. We have the scythe bringing a quick and swift ending to a person, place, circumstance, situation, or environment. And focusing on some form of communication or paperwork. So that wisdom and knowledge and direction will come. But Spirit's saying it's going to come when the timing is right. Someone's trying to rush something here. So we do have a passionate feminine energy here who's waiting and waiting and waiting very passionately to get to the truth of a situation. Again, maybe having to do with the moon energy representing Pisces or someone who has that in their chart. Either way, when the moon shows up, this is a time of illusion, uh, fantasy. So Spirit is really saying, wait until you discover for sure the intentions of another. Because that confusion is blocking things from moving. So somebody's really questioning the direction of another. Either someone at a distance... Or there's just waiting energy here. So let's let's try to confirm. And this is almost more of a family type reading, I'm feeling, than it is finances. But if I were to say more than relationship, there's someone who could feel very stuck or trapped in a situation, maybe having to do with work and spirits, trying to bring you some wisdom here regarding a higher, better path. So I think to, yeah, let's bring in the... Enchanted Map Deck by Colette Baron reed for further confirmation. So, dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please continue to provide clarity and confirmation regarding the messages we have previously discussed for this Leo during the second half of October of 2021. So there is someone's thinking about engagement, commitment, partnership. Maybe some of you may be feeling a bit stuck or trapped in one by mid-October of 2021. Thinking about coming apart, right? I think with this number 46, the first messages I got in the thoughts position, the spiritual advice is sit in a solid foundation of success. Do not manifest this coming apart, but instead focus on engaging I'm hearing with the one you're with. So there may be a temptation here. Yeah, in the relationship sector, we have the goblin energies representing fear. But goblins don't exist. The only thing that exists here are obstacles and challenges in relation to another or others. So spirit saying, recognize the fears uh, that are blocking you or are causing you to come apart from this engagement, commitment, partnership. You are not stuck or trapped, right? We never are. We can take our mind, body, and soul and move it into any direction we so choose because we have that freedom here on earth. And speaking of movement, in the creative aspects position, we have this ostrich or emu, which is the fastest moving bird in the world. So Spirit's saying, get going. Or maybe you're trying to get going towards some goblin energy of obstacles and challenges, knowing that this will cause the coming apart of some form of uh, engagement, partnership. So Spirit's saying, take some time to think about your goals and your intentions. During the second half of October of 2021, it's time to take your wisdom, your knowledge, your experience, and to set goals and intentions being represented by the egg here. They're saying that is the action we are guiding you to take. For you will receive a lot of encouragement if you create new intentions, if you create something getting going right now. This whole process will free your mind from overthinking or looking deeply at a situation. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like for this Leo, things have slowed down, but it is still going to stay at a deep freeze because spirit is helping you with that. The deep freeze energy is a time to take a moment and think. Look, it's a frozen lion. 
Spirit's saying we want to slow you down to think about the path that is most successful, a solid foundation whereby there are not obstacles and challenges. So move into the direction of setting goals and intentions by taking time out day to day. For this process will free you and guide you to connect with people that will lead you eventually into the right direction. Let's get clarity on that subconsciously, okay? Someone here is feeling like they have hit rock bottom. And when this card shows up, Spirit says, then it's time to manifest the next path. So give encouragement to others. Allow yourself to receive encouragement as you manifest new goals and intentions. For Spirit will help to guide you into the path that is in your highest, best good. Day to day, we have this slow and steady energy. Slowly and steadily, you will begin to move forward. Right now, you know, even though you want to move quickly after goals and intentions, um, recognize your fears. There are fears regarding rock bottom. Slowly and steadily, spirit, slowing your emotions down to come apart from fear, negative thinking. And instead, oh my gosh, in the inner strengths position, the spirit is guiding you to go into the direction of a golden palace, a new home environment, new work environment, new creative environment, because you're going to receive a lot of encouragement as you set these intentions. So with spirit saying, we will guide you into the right direction. Oh my gosh. So in a three card summary to my left, we've got the dragon's lair energy. This is about uh, staying and finding comfort in where you are at this time for you are in the environment you were meant to be. Time is slowing down so that you can manifest goals and intentions, especially for some in the area of home. Making changes to home, moving home, and we have, this is what I was saying, a deep freeze so we can get clear about the path ahead. So the path opening up is actually a blessed path, if you've been wondering this. The number seven is Spirit's way of saying, step into the unknown. Take off that blindfold, for you're going to recognize that you're already dressed for this party. Uh, that you've already cleared up some space here, you've done the work, you've freed yourself from worries and fears of the goblins in the relationship sector. And now you can ride the wave into a new path, a new direction, a new opportunity. So fly high. You are where you were meant to be right now. But now you can avoid storm fields, difficulties, and educate yourself on what can come next. New exciting goals and intentions will somehow rescue you from maybe thinking about coming apart from this beautiful connection. Look at this. Come together. By the end of October of 2021, there's definitely a switch in perspective for this Leo. Spirit saying with the wishing well energies, pray to us and we will guide you um, to a new path, a new direction where, yeah, there will be endings. Uh, but it is the time to research new beginnings because this journey will bring you together into this golden palace energy where you receive a lot of encouragement. Peaks of joy will come. And then there will be, in hindsight, a realization that spirit did slow things down to help to guide you into a new path that you automatically acclimate to. There will be a coming into an awareness. I'm getting by the end of October, maybe the first week or two of November, that you are manifesting a foundation and it is finally coming to life. So it's just a little bit about waiting, but not making any unhealthy decisions during the waiting process. So for this reading, I'm going to close with a message from the uh, Journey of Love deck. Dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please provide clarity for whatever direction, path. Oh, I'm being guided to get into the tarot deck. I forgot. Within nothing... There is everything. The number two, a new path, a new direction with a particular connection here. Okay, they want me to clarify by bringing in the Gilded Tarot deck. Please provide any astrological signs or elements by which this Leo needs to hear. 
Okay, we had this card jump. Okay, so we had the fool in reverse. Okay, exactly. It's time to encourage each other to move forward, but to not hop, skip, and jump into the direction where you're going to come apart. Shocking realization. Okay, so someone wants to communicate a truth that could be shocking. And that's where spirits say, no, 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 no. It's just not time for that new beginning, but the time will come. And in the relationship sector, we've got two different directions in the area of money or things of the material. So there's definitely a, a need to get moving, right? To set goals and meet goals so that you can move beyond this indecision here, these fears, these worries, these concerns. I feel like this is definitely the energy for this Leo if you are a mother figure, grandmother figure, the high priestess energy is spirit stepping in to help you to slowly but surely, well, not slowly but surely, I'm feeling fast, planning a path that is better than any other chapter of your life before. This is about slowing down and really thinking about your intentions before putting plans into motion is what spirit's trying to help you do. Someone wants to really go, 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 and spirit's saying, slow down a minute. It's not time. So in the actions position, we've got the Ace of Swords energies and the intentions card. I'm ready to move into a new victorious path or direction whereby I may have to cut away from old goals and intentions. And Spirit's saying there will be a new path and it will be victorious. It will lead you to this golden palace energy of fulfillment here. But Spirit's saying hang in there and be strong. We have the Wheel of Fortune showing up. So this is definitely karma. If we make good decisions in the second half of October, things will start to move in our favor. We'll have the truth and victory. And then this, then we can move forward. But if we make negative decisions, communications here, the Wheel of Fortune could turn in reverse and cause a lot of stability and fear in the relationship sector to another or others. So in the subconscious position, Spirit's saying, as one path ends and a new path begins, make sure that you're maintaining balance, equal give and take. As you give, so too shall you receive. Because there is definitely the death card here. Slowly but surely, you are bringing an end to one path. And eventually, you'll be able to start moving into the direction of another. Because something will finally feel right, but it's not right yet. Create a new path in a gentle, slow way, even though you want to move quickly. Slowly but steadily, Spirit saying day to day, you will then bring an end to waiting and the full card will switch around. Your intentions will lead you into and towards this golden palace energy. But the more you worry about money or you worry about or you're closed off with your emotions, the slower the process is to get to this victorious golden path. What you create will come to life, positive or negative here. So wait, plan, and know that eventually you will indeed be able to celebrate something in the area of home and family and come closer together. I'm feeling with family as a mother figure, grandmother figure, something like that. Yeah, be careful of some form of temptation. So I'm still going to read my notes for this card to close with from, again, the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild. And the number two card says, Something you want is on its way to you, but it's going to come out of nowhere. Something that you want may seem to be coming out of nowhere. No signs on the horizon to give you hope, yet it is coming to you anyway. It is the spiritual law that you cannot be denied by the manifestation of your heart's desire. Trust and remain open to the tide of universal love rushing towards you and eventually swelling up within you. Perfect card. 
So should these messages, some of these messages resonate for you and you have further questions about your own personal journey, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour readings, the one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the fall special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so much for your likes, your shares, and your subscribes. Thank you so very, very much to those of you who have continued to donate to keep this channel up and running. Take care and God bless.